Hello, I'm Dr. Dimitro Caruntu, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering and Director of the Biomechanics Laboratory. We are very happy to have this laboratory in place since July of 2012. Uh, but first of all, let me mention, uh, let me acknowledge National Science Foundation uh, Program Director Leon Esterowitz for granting us almost $300,000 instrumentation. What you can see here in the biomechanics laboratory, there, there, there is an integrated system which consists of three systems. One is the motion analysis system, which are the cameras all around, and they are 10 cameras. Um, the other system are the force plates that you can see right here, and they can be, uh, they provide us with the ground reaction forces uh, during uh, certain activities like walking, running, squatting. And the third one, it's an EMG system, which is a sensing system that provides us with the muscular activity. The very simple idea is these sensors, they go on certain group of muscles, and as you perform the task, they are able to tell if there is muscular activity or not. This is state-of-the-art instrumentation. This is the only biomechanics laboratory south of San Antonio. This is the first thing. And the second thing is, that we look for excellence. The whole, the entire mechanical engineering department uh, strives for, for excellence, and as we do for the biomechanics research. Um, another thing that's very important that should be mentioned is the level of research we do with our students. We involve in our research many students, undergraduate and graduate. We publish our research with the students in top journals and top conferences. I can tell you that in the past seven years, we published more than 75, I'm talking about our group, more than 75 journal and conference papers. Uh, journals that are in the top two or three percent of the mechanical engineering area of biomedical engineering or applied physics or even applied mathematics conferences that are well known and well respected the best in mechanical engineering and not only at the national level but international level. These are a couple of things that um, probably we should mention that students coming and working with us they're gonna have their name published. This is the quality of work we do. Talking about the projects um, in biomechanics that we work on, I would start first of all saying that we have many students, undergraduate and graduate students involved in this research over the years. And we're talking about two, two years and a half now. We have two graduate students, they will graduate um, uh, this fall. We have undergraduate students that work on this research. They work uh, this summer on one of uh, internal grants and um, their name are Raquel Flores and Gloria Oliveira. They did an excellent job. They will present this work um, at the conference that's going to be at the end of this month, September. In terms of research, we are very interested in knee joint. This is um, our area of research. Knee joint, um, the knee joint, it's a very important joint that creates many problems and we are looking into solving these problems. The structure of the joint itself is, besides the two, in fact, three bones that come together to form the joint, femur, tibia, and patella, there is a um, soft tissue structure that is very important, which means ligaments, bone-to-bone uh, -bone, uh, structures, uh, and uh, tendons and muscles. It is very important that uh, during certain tasks to find the level of load uh, on each of these structures. If they rupture, that creates problems. So this is what our research is all about. I look forward to seeing you at uh, our uh, STEM lecture series on Thursday, September the 18th, 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. in UTPA Ballroom. Uh, make sure you save the day. Uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Go Bronx.